Hello and welcome back to another Revit Architecture CAD clip. In this lesson we'll talk about uh, the cleanup of a stair at the top. The, the top riser uh, for the longest time has been a bit of a pest in trying to get that top riser to line up properly. Uh, I'm just in a 3D view. I'm going to grab my section box and just kind of squish this down a little bit here and then we'll see when you zoom in here um, by default Revit doesn't really handle the top of this correctly even though we can go to say our level 2 um, oh not a ceiling plan and we can see that there's our stair okay if we click on here and we go into edit we'll see that you know everything lines up properly in here we've all seen this I'm sure okay um, so that's good but then when we go to our section Okay, we notice there's a problem there. Okay, and also you know in 3D, but in plan, it looks okay. Okay, so this is one way to deal with this, which leads us to another problem, which we'll also solve. And you can kind of use this if you think it's something that fits in for your uh, documentation. So we can start by just clicking on the stair, going to the properties going down inside of here and it says desired number of risers 16 actual number of risers 16 so when this is in sync Revit's happy okay but I'm gonna go in here and hit edit and I'm gonna go down to here where it says end with riser it's gonna end with a riser which is really what I want I want to end with a riser because that's the top of my stair technically up here not down here so but I'm gonna defy that and turn that off end with a riser I'm gonna take that off hit apply and it's going to give me a warning. Actual number of risers is different from desired number of risers, add or remove a riser. So this is a warning. You can read that. We hit OK. So it fixes the problem at the top. We hit OK. But now we have a little problem here where it says desired, which is the, what we really should have to maintain this number. The actual is um, 15. In fact, um, it's still 7.5 no matter what because we've just made it so that that back line is not a riser anymore so this seven and a half hasn't changed okay so we hit OK on that and for the most part graphically that has solved our problem right there okay everything is is good here okay you can measure that off okay and if you go to the plan view everything here is still good so that's okay the problem is look what's happened to our stair tag Okay, our stair is reporting the actual number of risers at that height, which is fine. So now what we have to do is create a new custom tag, which is used for this stair. So this again is not a, a real parametric uh, solution, but it is you know something that you might want to use or even learn from what we do. So now we have to have a new tag, and I have a new tag here called DG Stair Tag. Okay, it's an annotation symbol and there's the the out of the box one which is this guy over here so what you have to do is go in here now I'm gonna go to settings and I'm gonna go to annotation and to loaded tags and I'm gonna switch my stair tag here to be the DG one okay so now when I hit OK I'm going to go tag on my drafting tab and say by category and I'm gonna tag this stair and it's gonna put that in there oops sorry about that now I hit modify to stop it. Now I can take this tag and I can go move it over here and you'll notice there's two question marks in there. And it will fill this in when I give this stair the information. So what I want to be able to do is to click on this stair and go to the properties and there needs to be a couple fields in here that say um, how many risers I want. I can't, unfortunately, I, I'm unable to pick up this information inside the custom tag itself so I'm using shared parameters so it's going to ignore this information I'm, manu I'm going to manually add it in so I have a couple of shared parameters okay I'm gonna go file shared parameters okay in this file way down in here I have a group and in there I have two parameters called riser meaning the amount of risers and rise sorry riser which is the height I should probably give it a different name. So riser and the riser is how many there is. Okay, height and quantity. That's a shared parameter. So that's good. That's been done. 
Okay, you can make your own shared parameter file and add those in if you need to. So now that I've done that, if you click on this family and you say edit this family and I open it up, what it is is there's a label here and a label here. And this label, if I edit that label, I went in and I, again, I added a shared parameter and I went and got those two shared parameters and loaded it in, okay, to, um, into here as a label, okay. And then there's this guy over here. If I edit that one, it, it uses the riser, okay. This one is using the, the risers over here, okay. So those are my two labels in my family. I can just close this off. Save changes, yes. So that's my, that's this tag. So now what I have to do is, if I click on here, I will not see those fields for riser and risers. I need to add them in as project parameters. Here we go. Settings, project parameters. I'm going to say add a project parameter. It's a shared parameter. Select, riser. All I have to do is pick it, okay, and then hit OK. Oh, look at rookie mistake! I forgot to select my category. Glad I did that. Everyone's going to do that. So the category, this is critical, is stairs. Okay, very important. Using that shared parameter, and it's a stair category. Very glad. Now, where do I want to? I also got a little quick. Where do I want to place that information? Well, I'm going to place it under maybe. Uh, construction or dimensions I want it to, uh, I could doesn't matter let's go construction okay and hit OK now I'm going to add in another project parameter that is a shared parameter I'll select that parameter and pick risers hit OK pick my category under stairs and group it under construction hit OK okay there's my two done now now that I've done that with the project parameters guess what if I pick because I picked the stair category if I pick on a stair all of a sudden magically under construction there's two new fields risers I'm now gonna manually put in 16 I'm going to manually put in seven and a half inches hit OK and now this tag is gonna pick up that information this guy I don't need anymore okay it would be nice to be able to pick up the uh, information that is right here okay but I can't seem to do that with the formula or anything in my tag so maybe drop me a line or hopefully in 2010 there'll be some improvements so there's a little bit of information on fixing up the top riser of your stair and then creating some shared parameters with a custom tag to put that information in for you.